Hey folks, welcome back to Music of Conman plays The Binding of Isaac Reapin Tants. We're going to do another run on our new file. We're going to try Jacob and Esau again. And we're going to see... Ooh, I wonder how they are in greed mode. Ooh, okay, I was going to do another hard mode run, but we're doing that now. Let's find out. Of course we're doing greed here. What do you take me for? First off, there appear to be two of us, I'm noticing. Uh, this one doesn't matter which one of us picks it. Oh, we can hold two. So two of diamonds, two of clubs. Strength, devil. Hierophant. Okay. These are useful to have. So we'll use strength and devil just to get through this floor, I think. Those will give us a nice boost for the first floor. Then we'll be able to carry the two of clubs and the two of diamonds onwards. There'll, be also, there'll also be a nice boost for this floor because now I've got a strong incentive to not spend our money. Ooh, and potato peeler in the shop is suddenly making me feel a lot... Let's start with three. Potato peeler in the shop is suddenly making me feel a lot more interested in angel deals than devil. Okay, charged friends. So if we get familiars, that'll be a little extra bonus. So two and a half hearts. Down to two, a lot of bombs, and down to one and a half hearts. If we had something we really wanted to use bombs on, we could two of clubs right now. Blow up this and this, try and get some other resources. It's not the most ambitious play, but it's all, you know, we want to save two of diamonds. For high value later. As a matter of fact, I don't even want to hold it right now. Because I don't want to hit it by accident. Oh, come on. Drop it. Interesting. So wait, with extension cord... So I guess we count as familiars, so sometimes there's a little chain of zappiness between the two of us. I don't really want the two of us to be far apart very much, but that's cool. Okay, so strength and double are available. Oh right, and actually, we get extra value for our money with these bombs. So we go boop. And that is profit. Fill that health up a bit. Don't want to buy that key right now. Actually, I do. So, let's do that. I think we'll... We might skip those other items. Try and take uh, the... Let's just buy none of this. The potato peeler could be good, but let's buy none of it and take this all down a little further. So, let's just do these whole boss waves without any of, without stopping for any other items. Just do this all the way through the demon wave. I'm kind of interested in trying out, I always go for devil deals on these. I'm kind of interested in what if I skipped that first devil deal committed to angel deals. Health is not bad in greed mode. It's a lot harder to get refills than it is in other modes. And yeah, with those two cards, maybe we could have just used one. But I figured if we used both, we'd definitely be good. It might have been good to save one for the second floor. Because now, it's not too bad to get through the first floor with no bonus items. It can be tricky to get through the second greed mode floor with no bonus items. So it might have been placed safer to use none of the cards, even. But I've never played Jacob and Esau in greed mode. I didn't know how tough it would be having these two little buddies to maneuver. It is a little tough. But with these two cards in play, not too tough at all. You know, we do have a Hierophant card, and that does make me a little more inclined to take Devil Deals. So let's, yeah, let's go into our Devil Deal this time. Hierophant card, and it just give us a resource with which to buy good and service. I suppose we could have saved the Strength card, potentially used for Esau deal as well. Okay, so we just lost half a soul heart on Esau. And Dust Bud is now active, which is actually pretty cool. With 
Yeah, best bud is pretty cool with that laser. I don't know if that's actually very effective, but it's neat. Oh man, it jumps fast now. I am not used to how fast Widow currently jumps. Don't spawn spiders. Please get together. Right now. Over me. I want, is this a champion? Or does it just look different? I feel like this is a champion. Maybe it's jumping extra fast. Hey, take him out both at once. Okay. I will take this. I take both these on Jacob. And I don't know if they have to, if I get guppy items, I don't know if they have to all three be on the same character. But just in case, I'm going to treat it like they do. So we are doing double deals, so all of a sudden potato peeler is a lot less interesting. We've got a bunch of bombs, we get to carry our Hierophant card down. So, alright, our health is not magnificent. I've seen worse. So this applies to both of us, right? Doesn't matter who has it. Yes, we both get a speed up because the game is not going to horribly punish us by giving our two characters different speeds. Oh my goodness. So with school bag, I could have four active items between my two characters. That's... That might be a little much even for me. I mean, it, it sounds wonderful and I like it a lot. But... Maybe not this early when I'm still just mostly trying to win. Can I make two without these items? It's pretty tenuous grounds health-wise. I think I'm, I'm gonna be greedy. I'm not going to use my card yet. Okay, so this is gonna be Gemini. So Gemini can go on Esau. Because Esau has best bud, so Esau is kind of the one that's familiar to test chase. So here's a play we can do. Go in with one of them. Go out with the other one. Now, our health might look a little risky. And that's because it is. But... Now we can use this, get a little protection. Now we just don't get hit ever. So we're going to be a lot weaker than we were on last floor. Um, we got a couple new items, but not enough to balance out those cards we had. On the other hand, Guppy's Head doing great work between that and Gemini. We got a lot of protection against things that get close to us, which makes it a lot easier to just keep our distance and shoot down the rest. Get okay, those stone bullies. I'm moving fast, but they're not really that much of a threat to me. Okay. Yeah, we are keeping the mob from growing too rich. Oh my goodness, that champion just took off a whole heart. So Jacob is the one that needs to play extra safe. The stone bullies are separating us, I repeat. The stone bullies are trying to separate us. This is not a drill. I, th uh, I think we should probably use some bombs on the next wave. Just to help clear out the herd a bit. That'll hit something. Yeah, I think that was important to do. Now we got five seconds to get this and get rid of that stone bully. Thank goodness. Okay. And this is the last wave. Uh, with ten bombs left, I am totally fine about having using one double stack of bombs. Man, Jacob and Esau have so much potential to be really strong. But it's not easy. I really like a character like that. Like, they're not a character that's hard just to be hard. They're not a character that's just, like, extra powerful. They've just got a really interesting and unique gimmick. I'm certainly scared to get near these things with the amount of health I have. And I don't have any cards or anything active that incentivize me to stay in this room and not leave it, but I also don't remember anything in the shop that I super wanted to buy. I guess I could re-roll. Hmm... I'm going to be super greedy, and I'm going to try to get the maximum value out of my two of diamonds. I mean, the maximum, of course, would be with a blank card, but the maximum value that appears feasible right now. Okay. 
This is where it gets tricky. Okay, if we just don't split that, it's not going to cause us too many troubles. Sloth might split it, but you know, then Sloth is also kind of helping us out. So let's just play it safe. I'm going to save the flies for a later phase, because I'm not in a lot of threat right now, but once that splits, I might want to have some flies around me. This is the champion version that is going to spawn Bombas. So... That makes me kind of worried about blue flies being too near me, but whatever, we're going to give it a shot. Okay, so just keep it chill, focus one area at a time. Okay, so let's try and break these down before we spawn a bunch more of them. Yeah, take out the mushrooms, that's fine with me. Okay, that was a powerful split. Alright, and this two of diamonds is about to give us 49 cents unless we very soon see a reason not to use it immediately. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay. That was a situation where Jim and I could have gotten to us. I'm just going to try and use the guppies header right at the end here so that I get to keep the flies. Okay. Let's get 49 cents from this. Yeah, it's done. Oops, I have to press the button. Oops, I have to press that line. Okay, it's time. Buy a couple of these. I'll tell you what we can do. We can re-roll and open this chest at the same darn time. Oh, that double re-rolled. Interesting. Let me poke it. I will take a tears up, though. I will try to avoid that. Brutal death. I almost bought another key by accident. Okay, so we haven't really had any changes to our base fire rate, so we're, it's up to us what we want to change. Uh, let's get that baby bender trinket. Okay, interesting. Having extension cord on one of them gives the effect to both of them. Let's get that baby bender trinket onto Esau, since Esau has. Well, no, that familiar doesn't fire shots, so giving it home shots won't do anything. Let's make Jacob our shooter, because Jacob currently has Guppy's head. Oh, I should have given Guppy's head to Esau, because Esau has higher damage. You know what, Esau is just going to be our protagonist today. Mm, Jacob is about to die, so let's get the health and a trinket. Flat Penny is pretty sick. Soul heart and two keys and a walk up. Not sure if I need that. Well, here's a free trinket. And I think we're going to be able to survive this boss wave and save this money to see what's on the next floor. So let's do it. Next. Okay. Lots of bombas. I wish there was a way to hand off my active items, but I'll just have to find an active item on a pedestal which has good odds of happening at one point, and if it doesn't, well, it'll be fine on Jacob. I just, I should have given Guppy's head to the character with more base damage. Okay. So what's going to happen if I, it says it's a two heart deal, is this going to take my soul heart and kill me? No. Okay. If there was a single character in here with one red heart and soul hearts, that would convert into a a deal for one red heart and two soul hearts, and that would kill Esau. But since Jacob was here with those with two red hearts, it didn't convert. And now I would really like to have homing on my baby shots. Uh, extension cord is pretty cool, and I do think that five keys is probably going to be enough for the rest of the run. Like. There just aren't that many spots where you need keys in breed mode. It's not called keyed mode. But it's. So we've got main character Esau, we've got supporting cast Jacob. Main character Esau could use a little health. So now tier effects on Esau. Alright, and now Esau can use that health. Alright, Jacob, you are. You have a better natural fire rate, but that damage stat 
on the east side of that damn stuff. Mama Mega could be of some utility. HP and tears up definitely appeals. I believe HP ups give a health refill now. Okay, we're gonna play you twice. And we got that. Okay, well we still want the health refill. There we go. HP and tears up. So now, yeah, with that Incubus, with its homing shots and its egg tears. This used to not do much. Maybe it does stuff now. But we don't know. And this one, sometimes it spends money to fire interesting things. I don't know if that's good, but let's give it a shot. I have greed. Gold tears. An extra tear effect on our main character. Our money is down a bit. Our health is okay. I don't think I need to re-roll to like, try and buy soul hearts right now. I could spend three cents worth a red heart to check this out. I'm just going to put this on here. Be a little greedy, but I'll just focus on keeping Jacob a bit safe. Okay. Oops, I just spent money. Thought. I made money off it. I like that there's a cash sound effect. So we're going to spend a lot of money on this. I notice our money is going down rapidly. So it means we probably ought to try not to miss a lot of shots. Well, that really spot out, spat out those tears. Okay, so we're spending a ton of money because we're firing so many shots. Excuse me, could you come with? spent one, but we got three. If we do that a third of the time, we're staying even. And I think if we get better at aiming, we'll be able to turn this into a lot of profit. It's a little tricky because of the whole controlling two characters things. I don't know if you've noticed, but Jacob and Esau is actually two different ones. Ugh. That was rough. But that, that black heart was, was helpful. Okay, profit. Big single target enemies with a lot of health, a lot of health and a big hitbox are good. I agreed to targets. Well, we spent a few money, and we didn't get any back because I guess it wasn't gold at the time it died. But I think our money has gone up by more than just the standard amount you get for completing a floor. So I would take that as a good sign that we are getting a little better at it. Also, even just spending money for a, a strong paralysis effect is hard to say no to. Alright, main character Esau continues. I wonder if this is the strat a lot of people adopt for this character, or if there's... I wonder how, you know, a really good player make, evaluates that decision. Okay, tears up on our main character. And a bone heart. Tear size up. You know, tear size up is actually. Tear size and range. Think of it this way. Every. Tear size is more important than usual because if a shot misses, it costs us money. So, ugh, dang it. I'm not worth it. So, just anything that helps us land shots easier. Also, if a tear falls short costs us money. So anything that helps these shots land easier. It is kind of rough to break poop and spend two cents to do it. I guess I don't break poop anymore. <clears throat> break wind like those fellas on that image. Okay. So guillotine is normally bad because it really messes up your control scheme, because instead of just controlling one thing, you're controlling two things. But what if you're already controlling multiple things? Yeah. 
So I don't have to watch that floating head. I just have to focus on moving he sound. Wow, those tears are big. Yeah, who do I want to have this health? Oh, main character. Sorry, I just have to move Jacob and Esau will follow. Sack of Sacks is normally an incredible item, but I don't think it does much here. Okay. Our friendly spiders from Parasitoid are handling that just fine. Okay, just look at Jacob. Ignore Esau. Esau is a familiar. That floating head is going to mess you up, but don't worry about it. I don't think we buy anything here. We just got to decide who to put all those soul hearts on. Okay, let's use Jacob's powers. I don't think we needed fanny pack or anything. A couple collectibles when we get hit. I don't think that's worth... We're going to get 15 cents worth of stuff out of that. Alright, I think anything that gets near Esau is kind of going to die. So let's give Jacob a little protection. Okay, here we go. Money moves. Ouchie. Okay. It, we are going to be missing more money shots now. Oh, I, I didn't call them that. I called them something else. <laughs> we are going to be missing more coin shots uh, now that Jake, that Esau is finally firing. Yikes, words are hard. Now that Esau is firing a little more erratically, but it still appears to be paying off. Whoops, took a little bit of hit there. I wonder if in tight corners it's better to just send one person up, or, but then, you know, if you're in a tough spot where it's hard to dodge two people, you probably don't have the focus to protect your second person very well. We didn't really care about any of these, or we would have bought them, because we had money to do so. Okay. There's a bloat. We got our froze. Freeze the bloat. Froze the bloat. Okay. Froze the bleh. Okay. Please paralyze that so that the mass stops chasing me, or just knock it out. But the mass starts chasing me more aggressively. You know what? As long as the mask dies and we don't get hit, and we make money from the process, what is there to complain about? Whatever I feel like, and my feelings are important. Okay, we got a freeze, but we can't really capitalize on it, but if we can freeze this one, nice. The one you've recently frozen. Uh, can't be frozen again for like 10 seconds is how status effects usually work on bosses. That's how we wore out the time on this. And I say that's how it usually works. You know, you never know what might have changed in this. It appears if they stop being gold and they get back to regular movement, we don't get money for killing them. But if we do. Okay. Bit of a waste of money there. Okay. Let's do this. And this. So we're just giving Esau all the all the familiars. Jacob is gonna spend a little mo health money here. Well worth it. Jacob, you can have the coin purse. But you don't get to have what's inside. Amnesia. You don't want it anyway. Oh, I was gonna do some test shots to see how it looked for us like that. But we don't really want to do a lot of wasted test shots. Shots, shot, shot, shots. Because they they cost money. Ammunition is expensive. Have you seen the prices? My goodness. Okay, I have other things to do in 25 minutes, so let's go beat the boss. Extension cord's still paying off. That baby bender spoon I am very pleased with. Uh, evil Eye. What if sometimes our tears shot more tears? Main character Esau. What if sometimes our tears were more tears? So damage down a bit, but a lot more fire rate. Damage down not too much. Wait, our fire rate was already maxed out? Oh no. Well, we just took a damage down without a ton of reason. What just dropped? I don't know. 
thigh. We definitely like these. Get the damage up again. That's more than makes up for what we lost. Get those BFFs on our on the one with the most friends. So now that Incubus is doing double damage. I'll take a speed up at half price. And uh, a bunch of health. A little more health. I think our damage is in great shape. So... Let's do that. Mm, I are there red hearts in the ground in here? There are. So that means... Do this. Useless. But hey, we all have bad days. So now I can fill this up. It is tricky to navigate this mess of characters. But it's cool. Okay, our fire rate is high. We spend a lot of money. We like to make a lot of money. We're not really worrying about trying to land every shot. We're just filling the screen with bullets. And it's expensive. And sometimes we get money back. Okay. That one. Okay, that pays for every lost one. This whole run. These two get those froze. That is profitable indeed. Probably. I can't even see if the money dropped from it. Okay. Wow, that cashier noise. And that those evil eye shots. Okay, our health is it's changing, but we bought a lot of health. Could have used Guppy's head more times than we did. I think we are in good shape right now. Matter of fact, let's just keep buying health on each of our characters. Another friend. So now East Tau is almost immune to bullets. So, is that a tears up? What does that do? Ah, uh, who cares? East Tau is the main character. Shots, tears, don't change. Shot speed up, range up on our main character. And then an interesting tear effect on our main character. Why, why am I spending money trying to maybe get one penny off the fire? It's not profitable. Okay. Give me some money. Or not. It's fine. It's not like I wanted it. Anyway. It is really hard to see enemies. I haven't noticed in that. Okay. So we're just going to accept that we spend a lot of money sometimes. But Esau gets a, a new tier effect. So half the shots do that. And ooh, if we can get seven more cents, which we could get if we get a lucky shot here. Okay, so you can still fire gold. They cost money to fire, but if you don't have any money, they're free. So that's how they can make money for you. Would I like to fly? It's not as useful when only one person can do it, unfortunately. Maybe in regular mode when there's gaps to cross, cross and get things. Okay, I'm drowsy would have been incredible to have before. I will take Gimpy. Okay, so we gotta go to the shop. Let's see if we can get a little more money. A lot here. I will totally spend seven cents on two red heart containers. The red heart containers are turning into really useful other items. Um, Isao has less pure red heart containers, but more health overall. So let's give Jacob a little survivability. Right now we're just kind of the damage is coming fast and easy. So we're just spending money on health, turning that health back into more damage. Through the devil. Okay. So let's send you over here alone. You have Gimpy, so if you're lucky, this will turn out some other resources for us. I don't really care about that. Do I care about that? A was. No, I don't. I mean, that could skip us down to the next floor. So if we thought we were really strong, 
we didn't want to risk fighting. Could do that. I don't think we need to. Sun card, that's huge. So that could be a big clear, or it could be a bunch of health. There's that gimpy payout. Give me that gimpy payout. And we got a drowsy pill there, I believe, the blue one. Okay, let's unite the warring clans. Figure out what these do. Drowsy? No, that's wizard. Okay. Okay, none of these are drowsy. Puberty. Okay. So let's have you pick this up. Bad trip. Bad trip. That's a shame. Um, but use will using the sun fill up both our characters or just the one? That'll be interesting to discover. And let's not empty up uh, Esau's containers just in case. Let's do plan to use the sun card as soon as things get a few enemies on screen here. Like, I don't know, now? Okay, that did not fill up Esau, but Gimpy is giving us a lot of red health. So, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's use Daddy's head. Let's, let's unite the warring brothers. Get them together a little bit. I would say if we're going to get hit, let's try to get hit on Esau, or sorry, Jacob. Because Jacob isn't quite, he loses soul hearts, but not bone hearts. But, you know, we're not really, chaos is just sort of happening to us at this point. Okay, let's fill you up, though. Don't think we care about any of these. I also don't super care about our bombs. Okay, so you can only blow it up to reroll it once. Okay, I will do this. Duct tape, keeping your familiars kind of in one place, kind of cool. But maybe not a passion of mine. Amnesia, not super helpful. That's a payout. Okay, Abaddon. So it's going to get rid of Esau's heart containers, but give six black hearts and big damage. Maybe we should fight the... We should get the devil deal offered first. So that we have a chance to get rid of Esau's last red heart container anyway. By the way, let's do these boss waves. Love that freeze. Uh, that one didn't quite do it. Okay, don't stop firing to save money. Just fire always. Money comes and goes. Uh, take me, think of it this way. If you fire constantly and it helps you take less damage, it's like you're buying health. We buy health. Okay, our people got separated. We've united them. Okay. Not too much damage taken there. Next. It's really interesting having two health bars to play with for devil deals too. Not just in terms of like how much you get to start with, but also like the games you can play with. Okay, well, um... Dang. This sounds gonna get buff. So we take that. So I remember these being very good. Yeah. That's good. And uh, Esau cannot take that, I don't think. I'm scared to try. Do I want it on Jacob? I think I kind of want two red heart containers more on Jacob. But also, what does Jacob have to live for, you know? I'm going to do it. So now Jacob might actually get some damage ups that make him something to be feared. So we get a bunch of... Oh, it no longer six black hearts, a smaller amount, and that emptied our bone hearts, which is interesting. We don't have money to get synth oil, which is a shame, unless this pays out pretty well for us. It did pay out pretty well for us. So we continue putting all the damage ups on the main character. Main character damage is up to 9.15, which doesn't seem like a lot. 
but keep in mind that all of our shots are duplicated by Incubus, and then all of those shots have their power doubled again. And all of a sudden, it's starting to look pretty alright. How's my time? Yeah, I still got 10 minutes to wrap this up. So, I think we've got very good damage. We've got some nice status effects. We've got some very fun familiars. Parasitoid also. Not talking about it a lot, but... Parasitoid is giving us a lot of spiders and flies. Guppy's had his help with flies. We're not going to use ten bombs any other way. We might as well have some more money. Also, I will use both of my pills here. Jacob and Esau versus Ultra Greed. Pow, pow. How are you going to deal with that, Ultra Greed? Probably by getting hit less. Love that black hole effect. Wow, that black hole item is great. That didn't feel super like something I could... It was in my control. And look at those evil eyes filling up the screen. I just have to... I just have to play it safe and dodge. It's hard to dodge these attacks two characters. I should not worry about maximizing my damage. I should worry about maximizing my survival. Okay. We're just going to fill the screen with pain. All of our money has disappeared. We kind of expected this to happen. If he happens to spawn things, we might get it back, but it also might give it back to him, so who knows. These slow and fear effects and, yeah, those ocular rift black holes are really... I guess they pull his tears towards them as well, which means he has, his shots are being pulled towards something other than us, makes him move slower. Pick these up, because we're not going to keep them, but at least Ultra Greed doesn't get to heal off them. And if we keep our distance, it doesn't matter that we're big. Okay, I think we got a handle on this for now. <sighs> Look at those tears slowed. It's so hard to escape a black hole. Could have asked Gojo Satoru about that. Um, I've been watching anime lately. More money on the ground? Oh hey, I'm actually spawning with some buddies. Let's deal with that. The buddies could give us money. It's not like we're going to keep it, so it's mostly just a liability. Okay. Uh, took one more hit. So now we really need to protect Esau. Okay. We also don't have any red heart containers to fill up the movie there. So remember, it's harder to dodge the lasers now. I think there was... When Repentance first came out, there was a bug where Ultra Greed, Ultra Greedier didn't have super armor, so you could just, if you had good damage, you could take out this phase a lot faster, and that was nice. Okay. Hey, we got an item. Well, obviously I'll put that on my main character. A little greedy, but <laughs> managed to separate our characters, pick it up, and make it happen. Don't really know where it is. Uh, I mean sense, but I, would, I thought I knew, but then I saw that I was wrong. A lot of black holes around. Uh, if we just keep doing damage and not getting hit, and not staying in the same place long enough, especially when we hear a jump, uh, we look like we're in good shape to unlock some new stuff with Jacob and our main protagonist, Esau. Let's not count our chickens before their baskets, but their baskets now. There are baskets now. So we've unlocked Inner Child. I wonder if that's an item that turn that gives you the Jacob and Esau effect. Also, we're about to ex fill up our greed machine for the second time. Okay, so that's greed mode with Jacob and Esau. I think I did, did pretty good with that one. We got some good stuff, but I wouldn't say it was broken strong. I think I play, made some good decisions, played well, and had a good time. Thanks for watching. Let's go into that box. Mm, same cutscene. Cool. Didn't give us any cool unlock things. Bye!